Welcome to Charles Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Thursday the 17th of June comes to you from London. And the big news really was the Federal Reserve's comments last night. That's had a dramatic effect on bond yields and the dollar. So we saw the dollar jump on the uh, news the Federal Reserve expects uh, interest rates to raise in 2023, a year earlier than expected. And so the market is uh, seeing that as positive for the dollar. And we are still looking like potentially putting in a higher low than than we saw the low in January. So that's good news for the dollar. So dollar bullish, that means uh, we're seeing the euro back below 120, uh, falling away quite heavily there. Still bullish on the long-term charts, but actually the short-term now moving quite dramatically. Uh, so that stronger dollar is having an impact. Sterling below 140, uh, again on those Federal Reserve comments, but still bullish on the longer-term charts. And against the euro, sterling is actually looking pretty strong, nudging the 117 level now. So bullish on all three timeframes there has the upper hand. Bitcoin sitting at $39,000, just fell back below the $40,000 mark, but still bullish on that short term chart. The S&P 500 index down half a percent, hasn't really fully digested the Federal Reserve comments. The Nasdaq was down slightly as well. Seeing the futures this morning down a third of a cent on the S and P and down half percent on the Nasdaq. So markets are uh, seeing that uh, Federal Reserve comment as um, negative, obviously, and we're seeing the VIX volatility has been jumped from around a lower fifteen at the early start of the week to now nineteen. So again, we're seeing uh, upside targets here, and that's a feature of a lot of these charts now. The FTSE future. Uh, is down 0.4% and the DAX in Germany is down 0.1%. This is my weekly daily and 60 minute chart, by the way. So long term, medium term and short term view of the market for those of you who have not seen the uh, past day before. Uh, looking at the Hang Seng Index, we're seeing here we are actually up overnight, as was China. But the rest of global markets falling away. Japan was down two thirds of a percent. The Sensex in India was down slightly. The Aussie market down. Just under 0.4%. We'll take a look at the energy mix in a minute, but we're seeing commodities generally falling. Stronger dollar not good for commodities. Uh, so wheat down 0.75% and corn down nearly 2%. So um, stronger dollar having an impact there. And the same is true of gold, seeing gold fall away on that stronger dollar. So uh, that's a factor as well. Still bullish on the medium and long term charts, but uh, that stronger dollar having an impact. And the same for silver, we're seeing that fall away as well. Of course, the big moves were in bond yields, and the 10 year yield jumped uh, pretty well straight away on those comments. When we went from the high 140s to nudging 160. So a big move there. And if we move higher than the high that we saw uh, at the end of today, yesterday, we will activate this upside target to 179. That would take us higher than the high that we saw in March uh, and really start to show that 3.27 target as playing through. These targets would disappear off the chart. So a higher high uh, than we saw yesterday will activate that upside target some 14% higher and give us a new high 10 year yields. Uh, looking at the um, German Bund, Falling back to short term bearish uh, on those comments yesterday as well. Uh, 170 is the critical level, which we talked about a, 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 a quite a bit. Now, looking at the energy mix, uh, we're down this morning, but uh, Brent crude looking pretty strong. It did nudge 75 yesterday, and we have got targets 7560, 7560, 7580 all activated. So it does look like we will go back higher than this 75 level. So crude oil just looking pretty strong at the moment. And potentially on this half percent chart, we will activate this big target here um, if we pull back and then go higher. So that will be one to watch. Uh, US Nat gas sitting at 324, holding that uh, the, these higher levels. It was as high as 337. Uh, so we have seen some pretty big moves there. And if we look at uh, coal, uh, we're down just slightly there, but still looking bullish on the trend there. Uh, emissions, we've got, um, we're back to, pulling back to 50 euros 92. So we're pro, still pretty range bound on emissions. We've got targets in both directions. Uh, and now we've got enough visibility on the UK emissions future. We're seeing here we've got some targets kicking in. And in fact, we can actually look at that uh, spread. So this top chart is uh, 
the European emissions price. The green line is the UK uh, emissions price, clearly less liquid. We're now just over three weeks in. And then this uh, is a custom ticker, uh, which you can see here is the emissions price divided by sterling uh, against the euro, which gives us um, the, the true value with uh, the currency added in. And this is the spread. And we see here that the arbitrage opportunity was around five uh, and we're now um, back to really parity. So suddenly the UK price is starting to follow the European price. So that's quite significant there. Taking And that's a chart to keep an eye on. That's the one minute chart. Uh, taking a look at uh, gas markets, we've got MBP down slightly this morning. TTF continues to rise. And in fact, if we look at global gas prices, uh, really interesting here. We've got LNG prices, which has been the star this year, of course. Uh, we've got UK gas uh, blue and then US nat gas. These prices are all normalized to MMBTU. So we're seeing uh, like with like. And it just shows you how that uh, spread has really widened between US gas prices and European and Asian gas prices. But TTF has actually outperformed uh, LNG uh, on the current month contract. So that's quite key. Uh, taking a look now at uh, power, German power not changed this morning, but still looking bullish, uh, just pausing for breath, but a little bit more bullish than the um, emissions chart. The quarterly contract is down half percent this morning, so we're just keeping an eye on that. Watch your one minute charts on OTC data. And if we look at Nordic power, we are down 2% here. This is looking less bullish. Uh, and again, the quarterly contract falling, making new lows yesterday. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.